So what I'm going to talk to you today about is risk and contingency analysis. Now this goes along with the other video about safety, but as a project manager, one of the things you're going to be doing is really looking at specifically what are all the risks, what could go wrong, and how to plan for that. The way we do that in project management is we kind of consider this um, axis. The x-axis here is um, the probability of something occurring. So you can see there's, there might be a low probability of it occurring, like it doesn't happen very often, or it might be high probability, something like people um, cutting themselves or something. Um, and then the impact, that's the other dimension on the y-axis, where we have a high impact of something happening, um, or versus a low impact, like it doesn't really matter that much. So for instance, a low probability high impact would be something like a natural disaster. So I have it there as like an earthquake. That would be something that would be high, high impact. Um, the other things that might happen, um, you have to consider sort of brainstorm around all the different things that could go wrong. What I suggest is that you sit down with your project team with this on a whiteboard and get everybody to um, brainstorm about all the various things that could happen, all the risks that happen on your particular project site. So this is not really any project site, it's your particular one, the things that you're going to be doing on your project. And once you've done that, then what you'll end up doing is I'd like you to um, look at this template which is on the PolyLearn site and um, this template has three pages in it. Um, it's divided up into high impact, high probability, high impact, low probability, low impact, high probability. And what you do on this, as in, in, so initially when you start to do this template, you start with the name of the project, who did it, the date. You always have this sort of indicating information so that um, if you have multiple projects you're, you're um, running or you're doing it at multiple different times, you have some record. So this is a description of the particular um, risk that you want to do. And you might have some indication of impact and probability. It might just be high, but you might assign numbers to that, well, however it is that you'd like to do that. You don't necessarily have to have these two columns. But these two columns are going to be really important. Mitigation. That means um, if you have this particular risk, is there or this event happening, is there any way that you can avoid it? Can you put double checks in? Can you um, put? Can you use something else? Is there any way that you can take care of it? Can you get an early warning to it? Is there anything you can do that would mitigate it? And then this um, this column here is about what if it happens? What response might you have to it? Um, do, are you going to call nine one one? Are you going to have a first aid kit? Um, are you going to have everybody stop working, which is something you should do if there's an injury on site, so that everybody stops at a particular time and that we can attend to whoever is injured. So what you'll need to do is prepare this risk template. You don't necessarily have to do it now because you might not have your um, your project defined, but as soon as you get it defined and as soon as you have an idea of what you're going to be doing, your your project team should get together and you should start creating this. Okay, thanks.